you people will bust my phone with this guy's video. There is a video that people have been sending to me for two days now. Yesterday, then this morning, like two or three people sent it again. I see the video, but as now one make I talk, we go talk. So there is this video that is going around. We are going viral concerning a guy and Pastor Paul Eniche. For those of you who don't know who Pastor Paul Eniche is, this is Pastor Paul Eniche. I call Pastor Paul Eniche the crutches man. And if you don't know why I call him the crutches man, his miracle is all that. He's a doctor and he's the pastor of um, a big church in Abuja. I don't advertise church on my page, so I don't mention their names. But he's a pastor in Abuja who has a very big church and large followers. Not only that, he's a doctor and the wife is a doctor. But they threw the, the, um, the medicine certificate, the medical certificate, they threw it to the trash bin. And somebody that did seven years in the medical school believes more in miracle than people going to the hospital. And this has been doing very well. And his, special, his specialty is uh, healing people who are crippled, people who have, uh, maybe they cannot walk. Those are the miracle he does. And you will always see him, and this is one of the pictures, him carrying crutches all around the place. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name remains Real Talk with Santia Duny. In case you are just getting to see this channel for the first time, if you have not yet subscribed, why don't you subscribe and put on your notification button so that when I drop a video, you can get to see it. To all my um, returning subscribers that are stay tuned to this channel, I want to say a very big thank you to you. We are really doing very well. Keep sharing, keep enlightening your people around you because like Shuwara will always say, we cannot continue like this. Posterity will speak for some few of us who have gathered courage to speak. You think it's easy. It is not. Oh, you see these bad goes they are giving us and uh, so much um, stress to talk and they want to curse you out. You, I don't, I'm not even bothered about that. I will do the conviction in my heart. And that is like where a top man said, to see as many slaves free. That is my um, desire. To see many people come out of this bondage and this chain that the pastors of Nigeria, the Pentecostal pastors, when I'm talking, I am talking about Pentecostal pastors, the general overseers in Nigeria and the new charlatans that are coming up. We have them so many. They are increasing every day, especially because there is no job. And everyone is coming with their own method of um, how to worship God. And uh, they are really praying on the situation of the country to enrich their pockets not minding if only it is a poor person giving it to them they collect from everybody their own is to collect so we should call them mr and mrs collectors so there is a video that is going viral that was sent to me concerning pastor in nature the crutches man and like i was saying i said it's called a crutches man because his miracle is all about crutches so he's like the pictures you can see sliding by mr crutches good morning you know Hi, pastor paul in nature good morning Good afternoon, good evening. I welcome you to my channel once again. This is not his first time on this channel. Sometimes ago, he said he caught a witch, <laughs> a witch that is flying in Zambua, Zimbabwe. So, Pauline Chief, you're welcome to this channel and we welcome you in peace, not in violence. So, there's this video going around, somebody sent to me about this man. Let's watch the video together before I continue. My name is Mazi Chuku Jaso Onyema. Please, I want to make an appeal to Senior Pastor Dunamis International Gospel Center, Senior Pastor Paul Eneche. Please, I want to make an appeal to you and to Bible God. Uh, there is a lot of trouble in Nigeria now, hunger, and so many things that I don't want to mention. Please, the bank has failed me. The government has failed me. Where that I invested my money has failed me. I was making a research in my library and I discovered that I have an investment in the kingdom of God. I'm no longer interested in that kingdom again. 
that is a, a Bible verse that you use to convince me to invest in heaven. In Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, verse number 19, which says, Learn not up for yourself treasure upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasure in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Because of this Bible verse that you taught us, uh, uh, it makes me, it moves me to start laying treasure in heaven with the tight booklet that you gave to me. Look at the tight booklet here. We call it Kingdom Investment. I started investing. I have a lot of money there. I went through it. I saw that I made a lot of money in the Kingdom of God now. Right now, I am no longer interested. I don't want to die in hunger before my time. Please, I am no longer interested of the kingdom of God there. If you see me that day there, send me out. I am no longer interested. Please, can you refund me my money? I will be happy. I'm a, I'm a full member. I joined your church in the year 2008. In 2011, I became a full member. I went for, for membership class. I was given a certificate of membership. I still furthermore for disciple and leadership i got my certificate at the end i still further more for dunam for diploma dunamis school of ministry i got the certificate so i have everything to let you know everything in my house look at it in 2013 manifesting his glory my full name is there so please i want my money back we are we are we are passing through hell right now currently in nigeria uh, i will have to pay my workers i have to service my life and uh, service my family and live life normal normal life please do 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 i don't want in, to, to, to 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 insult anybody i don't want to make trouble with anybody i just need all my tights Let's forget about the offering and the, the, the gifts that I give to churches to not only in your center, in branches. I give to them altar and so many. I don't need that. What I need is what I have a proof of. This is my investment to heaven. I don't want that heaven again. At least I have made up my mind to go to hell. Please, I need my money. I'm no longer interested in heaven. Please, if you can listen to me, I will be. My knees are on the ground. I'm serious. I'm not joking. I need that investment now. I need that investment now. Please, Anima, you do, do, do. If you get this message, you forward it to him. What I need is my investment in my kingdom investment. My tithe is what I need. I don't need the offering because I don't have any any legal proof to to to, to claim it. What I need is this time that I just discover how much I was paying then, how much I spend. Is what I need. If you can get, if you, if you can give it to me, I will be grateful. I will thank you again, and I will be grateful. I will no longer mention your name. I will no longer mention your ministry online again. Please, we need. I need this money personally. I need this money. Not a troublemaker. I need this money. I was, I was, I was brainwashed. To spare all this money, I was not with my senses. Right now that I'm young, in my senses, I need this money and I will be grateful. Thank you. Now that this guy said he is demanding for his money back, who is going to give it to him? Um, when we are talking, uh, I'm glad a lot of people are waking up. That's one thing I want to say. That a lot of people are really, really waking up. And I think every one of us actually deserve the right to ask for what is in your hands. Forget what I said earlier, but I think for real, for real, we deserve it. For somebody like me, I told you what I did. I went back <laughs> and my case is different. Not everybody will have that opportunity to do that. We all actually deserve to ask for every penny 
they have given to us because all the promises based what we gave based on is not happening we so see so that our lives can be better our tomorrow can be better and yet we are still struggling in our, as, a, as a people we are still struggling we are still it's so sad it's unfortunate that they will not answer no they will not they will not instead they are sending dogs out yes dogs they are on my page here too, on my channel here they are sending them out to be abusing people and fighting people for them bringing pages down that's what they are they have some dogs hungry dogs people who cannot even go near their cars even as their pastors it's so unfortunate the guy said he wants his money back that what they promise him that is not getting it they will tell you your treasures are laid up in heaven and yet they are laying up treasures for their generations generations yet unborn here or not when do you want to wake up just to when do you want to wake up from this slumber the guy even brought out a booklet he said kingdom investment booklet ah, these people are wicked they are wicked see how much like a checkbook so every month you know i told you that the same method the people has people are saying it is a lie convenience they call it covenant covenant partners and they have it in stages gold silver platinum and whatever nonsense name is as much as you can give that will determine your ladder christ embassy have their own whereby they look at who has given more every year most of their givers have entered their trouble has entered into trouble their number second giver two years ago is in jail here in america right now he got into trouble through fraud because of fraud money was getting to sow into church got him into trouble he is in jail in america the details is my on my other phone since last year but the phone is not working again and i'm trying to look for that sister who sent me all the information because i saw it online but the phone where I got all the information, I kept it to do the video. I, that video got spots. When are you going to wake up? We all know Nigeria is tough now. Why can't their prayers change Nigeria? All of them have turned mute. They have zipped their mouths. They have turned their faces away. Nothing is happening because they will, all the access to money, they will bring all this new Naira you are talking about into their homes. Their children will never even lack. Look at the Borainache, the wedding she did. The engagement ring alone is over 10 million, according to what we had. That is the sweat of, the, is, of his members. Look at the life the Borainache is living. This is somebody that is a lawyer that she's supposed to struggle and hustle like your child, like my child. See how you allow that girl through the mean, through the sweat of the poor, you allow her to meet something on the platter of gold and she's torosing your own children online. Somebody that has never used a hand to go to office and come back after doing law school. My brother, sorry for your loss. Mm. My brother, sorry for your loss. That money is not coming back. The only thing, this thing, that I'm glad you have the courage, this guy has the courage to come out. The only thing is that it will boost this um, enlightenment and awareness we are doing. Stop giving your money to these people. Nobody has ever seen God. Nobody knows what God wants and what he doesn't want. God does not need your money to do whatever he wants to do. What you need is what you need to do by yourself. It's just because Nigeria is not working. It's unfortunate that some people get to Obodo in Ibotuo. And they still continue this slavery mentality. Okay? Those ones have just decided they want to be slaves all their lives. And they want their children to be slaves. It's so unfortunate. Look at that booklet that this brother bring out. That is showing us. Kingdom partner, whatever they call it. A checkbook. And the guy who opened all the books, booklets. Only God knows how much he has been writing inside that book. Now the guy said, no one go ever again. He said, make him go ahead. Make them give him money. Imagine like my story. You, you all watch my experience. 
imagine if I was not smart to go back to them. My husband was asked to go and start a church without a dime. He used his money, his time, his energy, his health was at risk. And at the end of the day, I lo we lost him. What did they do? They asked me to leave the parish. If I was not smart, now smart people, they survive. Now smart, smart people, no, they enter past or trouble. Continue to be foolish. She, I don't talk and I say now everybody go short breakfast last last. Now we don't cast again. Another person does scream out. When I they tell you, say this breakfast. Ah ah. We plenty where we go chop her. Me, I don't chop my own. My children will not go chop again. I don't pay the price for my children. It will be good you don't allow your children to pay the price you are supposed to pay. Because they might mess up your own child more than even somebody like us that are coming to talk. And there is nothing you will do. Just pray it doesn't lead to loss of life. All this is your God of mine. When I'm talking, I am talking about churches owned by one man. All of them. I was given a certificate of membership. I still further more for disciple and leadership. I got my certificate at the end. I still further more for, dunam for diploma, Dunamis School of Ministry. I got the certificate. Now, all these certificates, where this guy gather, what did he want to take the certificate to do? Diploma. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Diploma. I'm sorry for laughing, you know, because this is a serious matter. Diploma and certificate of ministry. Can you come? <laughs> the same way one woman, one late Ayoka, scroll through my page, type Ayoka and redeem. You will see the video. This is how this woman got that certificate for redeem. Almost 10 certificates. Certificate that you will still pay for. They have different ways and different means to make the poor. Buying side, paying for this course, paying for this course. Honestly, those people are nothing. Make I no talk. Make I no talk. Of them, no matter how they try to look innocent and operate innocently, all of them with no exclusion. They are all businessmen. No matter how much they talk against each other, they are all the same thing. They are after nothing but how to pay their bills. Sorry, oh, Mr. Man. There is nothing we can do. A nature no go answer you. The wife said no go answer you. You can see the, the church they built with the kind of billions people have given to them. There is a video I was supposed to do about him, how they've been raising money. Oh, until I come your way again, I remain yours real talk with Auntie Adjuni. Real talk. Now, reality you they face now. This guy said, don't face the real talk. Where will they talk, Abby? Uh -huh. Bye. Don't forget to leave your comments. The thumb up, that con, and notification button. And subscribe. After subscribing, notification button. This page, now real talk. We go open your brain. All these people, they be thief. All of them be thief. Thief, thief, thief. Then be see where they're supposed to you know, talk because of uh, because of you know, son? because of social media skin. You know, talk. Somebody is living large, their children are living large on your sweat. No be mumu, no be juju be that.